Hello friends, today we will learn batch processing in origin. Batch processing is processing of the data in batches that is multiple data can be processed simultaneously and the results can be obtained. And this batch processing can also be uh, done in origin. So to have such analysis of the data in batches or multiple data simultaneously what we need to do is first we need to analyze a single data. For example, we will analyze the IV data and calculate its resistance and then we will process the batch, uh, we will batch process the IV data, multiple IV data and calculate their resistance. So first we will import the IV data that we have. For this, we will go to import wizard. Here, go to file. Here we have multiple IV data that, that are present here. I will import just one file and analyze it. So here we will go as we can see the IV data would consist of voltage at the x axis and current at the y axis. So here, here is our IV data. When we plot this particular data we see a straight line which shows the ohmic nature of the IV or current voltage characteristics. Okay, And now to analyze or to get the resistance of this particular re resistance from this particular IV data, what we need to do is we need to linear fit. So for linear fitting, we'll go to analysis, fitting, linear fit, open dialog. Here we just need to click OK and we'll get a linear fit. Here a reminder message, do you want to switch to the report sheet? Yes. And here in the report sheet, what we get is we get the slope. What, what is the slope? Slope is y by x that is current by voltage. We have voltage in the uh, on the x axis while current on the y axis. Right. So here we have voltage and here on the y axis what we have is we have current that we will show by capital I. Okay. Current versus voltage and slope is what it is y by x but what is resistance resistance is resistance is voltage by current so we need to have a reciprocal of this particular slope for this what we will do is we will add a new sheet here in the sheets that we can see here linear fit curve after this I'll right click add add a new sheet rename this sheet as results And here, first to save this, uh, before getting these results, what I, I will do is, I will, uh, what we are going to do is, we are going to save this particular worksheet as a template, so that while batch processing, we can use this particular template. To save this particular worksheet as a template, what we need to do is, first we need to insert the variable. Why we need to insert the variable? This variable will be the identifier of the data data identifier, it would be the data identifier, but it will act as data identifier which will identify the data that we are inserting. So here the long name I am inserting as the data variable and here now I will copy from this particular sheet linear fit, uh, fit linear sheet this loop. I will copy this and while pasting I will paste it as a link. I need to copy it once again here copy now paste this link once I paste, paste this link this data is linked in this particular cell so when we batch process the data will automatically come there now I will add one more sheet call this as resistance and it would be inverse of the flow so 1 by B will give us our resistance. The unit for this is ohms. To get that, I'll go here and type just capital W and change this to symbol. And here I can paste this to get the symbol that is ohm. Okay. So here we have calculated, calculated the resistance of this particular IV plot. I will rename this file as data 
There is no need to rename this, but wherever the data is available, that is, this is the file that is that can be called as data, or this is the identifier that we are using, and this is the result that we have. So now what we will do is we will save this particular worksheet as a template. Save workbook, sorry, workbook, not worksheet, workbook as analysis template. And here I will rename this file name as resistance calculator. Resistance calculator, when I rename this, I have already calculated it, so it will ask me to replace it. I will replace it. So here we have the workbook template. Now, in order to have the batch processing of the data, what I will do is I will insert, I will get a new workbook and now go to file batch processing. In this batch processing window, what we get is we you need to choose the analysis template. Here I have different analysis template that I have already created and the one that we have created right now is resistance calculator. So I will select that. The batch processing mode would be load analysis template. We already have analysis template and we will load that. We will select that particular analysis template. Now import data source would be import from files or we can have existing data that is already present imported. Already imported data can also be processed there and all other types of data can be uh, the source of data. As we need to import from files, we'll have the file list. By clicking on these three dots, we can choose the file list or files. That is all files here. I have this four files available here. We'll add them, click OK. So this is the data. Now the data sheets that we have, we'll click uh, select them as our auto, it will automatically select. The result sheet is the result sheet. The sheet that we have renamed as result will be occurring as result sheet. So I have selected that result sheet and now just I will click OK. Once I click OK, it will process the data. And here what we get is the result sheet that we can see. We have the identifiers of the data files that we have, that is 1IV, 2IV, the names that I have given, already the long names that we have inserted as variables. This particular C column is the column for slope. These are the slopes for different IV data that we have. And this final column, that is D column, shows the resistance of the um, IV plots that we have. So in this way, what we have done is we have batch processed multiple IV data into uh, simultaneously and got the results in this particular result sheet. We can individually see the workbooks that are already generated by just clicking on the data and clicking open books. Once we click open books, what we get is we get the data file that we have imported, the fit linear, linear fit uh, sheet, fit linear curve as well as results file. This particular data is shown in this particular summary workbook and we can get the data directly. So in this way we can batch process the data. So thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos. Thank you.